Hello guys, uh, with the music of uh, Fit Pack Girl. Uh, this is a legendary music when you are installing video game because I'm installing Sol, Sol Calibur 6 in the channel. I want to say to you this story about Bruce Lee from uh, the book Bruce Lee Extra, Bruce Lee to Wing Chun. So his friend Yuan Liang in, on July 30, 1958. Um, say that at the age of 18 years old Bruce Lee was invited by brother Edwards to join the school team of boxing so brother Edwards feels that he can uh, channel the spirit the spirit of struggle and energy of the young Bruce Lee in a positive way each year a fight is organized with 12 schools at the winning school for the last three years was the King George V, the fifth school. So there is an organized uh, fight in box. And the champion was King George V school. These schools have uh, always the rival school with the St. Francis Xavier College, that is the Bruce Lee School College. So most of the students at the King George V school are British boys who are in the habit of taunting the Chinese student of St. Francis Xavier. But the boxing champion was Gary Elms of King George uh, V school. He was known to be a slugger and had uh, never been beaten. He had been a champion for three consecutive years. Bruce was going to challenge this British boy. It was going to be seven years since Gary Elm was practicing boxing, that he was uh, 20 years old and had been the amateur boxing champion for three consecutive years. So Gary Elm's skill level was much higher than the previous three opponents that Bruce had beaten. This is uh, famous also in the series, The Legend of Bruce Lee. Lee was 1 meter 70 and weighed uh, 68 kilos. In fact, uh, Gary Helms was 1 meter 80 for 76 kilos. So it was 6 kilograms and very more, more tall. At the beginning of their, their fight, Gary had vigorously attacked Bruce. But in the second round, was Bruce was expecting these uh, same attacks and was able to use some of his wind charm techniques to ward off Helm's punches. This time Lee did not run to the corner of the Helm's attacks and the fight continued until the third round. Bruce had blocked all Gary's attack and chained the strikes. He do the chain, chain attack, beating the blows, then rattling the strike with powerful punch in the face. Boom using the wind charm technique. In three minutes, Gary fell to the ground defeat by KO. The new champion was born, his name was Bruce Lee. After returning to him, Gary did not expect to stop there, he was mad with rage. He went to Bruce and said, it was a good fight, but I still want to fight you. With no gloves, no rules, tomorrow night, rendezvous. So Bruce ac accept the challenge, he was famous for this, he never say no to a challenge. Arrived in a warehouse the following evening, around 7 p.m. And this man, uh, that write this, Yuan Luang, Liang, best friend in the period, accompanying him, for because Bruce Lee uh, had this street fight out of the ring. So Bruce held the lantern with him because it was very dark, there was no light. Gary was already there, it was getting warm. Bruce also began to warm up and there was a cat present, that's why you catch a cat in the movie The Way of the Dragon or The Fury of the Dragon with Chuck Norris. Before the fight against Chuck Norris, Bruce wanted to pay tribute a kind of nod to this confrontation he had with Gary in Street Fight. As the cat began the meow, 
probably feeling the tension on the train, the fight began. So this you can see also in the movie, because this really happened with the Gary Helms. It was very tight. Gary was a tough opponent, but Wing Chun and Bruce's ex exceptional speed made him take the lead and win the fight. So this man said that he was privileged to have witnessed this fight and uh, he never forget um, the hand. So sometimes, guys, when I see this uh, story about Bruce Lee, that he wins someone, also I read another book that uh, his friend, Wing Chun Leng, when uh, he was um, losing against the champion, he said, you remember, because the first um, The first round was uh, Gary Helms that was uh, winning. So Bruce Lee was very, no, I can't win, it's too much strong. So once Shun Leng was there, I say, remember, you are Bruce Lee. So when once Shun Leng sent to Bruce Lee, you are Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee in the second round go and start to use Win Chan. Because Wan Shun Leng was a boxer. Wan Shun Leng was a famous boxer, then uh, undefeated in Chinese in uh, Hong Kong, but he go when he go to Ip Man, Ip Man, um, he defeat him in 30 seconds using Wing Chun. That is why Bruce Lee he want to learn Wing Chun and not boxing, because the legendary master Ip Man. So also Wan Shen Lin, because he say ah boxing is better than Kung Fu, like every boxer say. But when he go to uh, master Ip Man. He fly. That is why when you find a real master, also if you are a big guy, you fly. When you when you find a real master, I don't know, in judo or aikido or wing chun or uh, whatever. When you find a real master, you know, master Ueshiba of aikido, it was 158 giants. They fly. It is not about how much you big in martial arts. These famous legendary masters, they was not tall, they was not big, they was not the MMA uh, very muscle. They was 158, 160, Bruce Lee 170. But they demonstrate what is uh, this the uh, philosophy, like the judo, the tai chi, the wing chun, the yev all, the yin and yang. They use the yin and yang, so this. Master they became undefeatable. So Bruce Lee he take this from the best master of his period. He defeat the champion, Gary Helms. So now they are saying that Bruce Lee have no records. That's uh, the record. Gary Helms was the champion from UK. You know that there is this white washing. So it's cause still there are there is white washing. Uh, thanks the Lord, but oh, when you are in martial arts, it's not about uh, the country. It's about if you understand this yin and yang. So when I read uh, good stories, I share to you in the channel. Uh, I'm very uh, happy to share to the world because I know there is a little uh, um, the people that th they think there are secret technique. There is nothing secret in martial arts. You train, uh, you understand the philosophy, and then uh, also me, I have experience like this. In my martial arts experience. The people very big, they think that I'm simple to to win. But when I learn uh, this uh, Tai Chi and Wing Chun, I never lose. Me, I'm defeated still. So think of Bruce Lee, that he was legendary. That he was in '70. That is called the Gold Era. Uh, he have only one defeat, okay? Because uh, when he go in San Francisco, he meet a Wing Chun brother that he was more expert than him. So Bruce Lee lose sometimes, but when Bruce Lee lose, he think this man train better than me because no one is undefeatable. Bruce Lee lose sometimes, but then he train better. Uh, and then invent his technique, the Jeet Kune Do. Uh, when he come back 
in Hong Kong, they say that was untouchable. So, uh, before that you speak about Bruce Lee, please uh, try to read some books uh, that are uh, good, um, documentaries, try to search the truth instead of uh, this arrogancy washing, uh, whitewashing that there is now because MMA. Okay, so peace. Uh, if you like my video, please uh, share. Uh, I'm very more than happy to share a story like that about the legends, martial arts. I know also about the story of Van Damme because I read a lot of books. So this is only the first. Comunque I do also another video that I speak about the life and I put here the life of Bruce Lee for kids. That is like a 30 minute. So if you are interested in the story of Bruce Lee, you can see here. Ciao.